What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. We have a special one today. We're fishing a 2v2 tournament. Me and Logan Anderson fishing versus James and Asher from the University of Auburn bass fishing team. Over the next six hours, there's going to be two zones on this lake, zone A and zone B. Each boat has to swap zones halfway through the day. Now me and Logan have a little bit of tournament experience together. We've actually won a tournament together. We've had a top five finish. All right, I have a coin here. I'm gonna let you guys call it. I'm gonna flip it. <laughs> oh, heads. That means we get to decide which one we fish first. Okay, I'm gonna choose to take the deep side first. Gentlemen, are you ready to do this? We are ready. Best of luck. May the best man win. I'm just now realizing that I definitely gave them the best side first thing in the morning, which was not really my smartest move. I was thinking it gives us the better side when it matters, like the end of the tournament, but definitely just screwed myself. Gosh, what was I thinking, man? Why didn't you say something? I was just letting you think. <laughs> Let's do your thing, man. Let's see, what's Logan got rigged up? He's got a lipless, a Texas rig, a jig, a couple jigs. And a little finesse combo? You got a finesse combo? Now the question is, do we go deep water first or shallow? Oh, I don't know. What do you want to throw? I'm on a chatter bait. Yeah, a little chatter donk. Yeah, I'm gonna just briefly throw this fuzz bait. I mean, like very briefly. <laughs> oh yeah, wow, that's a... I love getting the first cast out of the way, you know? And the second cast out of the way. Oh, all right, Logan, why don't we just switch places and just let you. You see what I'm wearing, Logan? Oh, Boom. the jersey. The derby jersey, baby. You don't have to do this like that. I freaking prepared for the derby. Derby Town, USA, that's where I am. It's getting serious, man, there's high stakes. Which I don't, I don't even know what the stakes are, but I feel like they're high. messing around water feels warmer than what it's saying though oh that's a fish came off why did my drag slip i don't know logan I can't miss too many more fish like this, man. It's not good for my mental health. You know this. How you guys doing over there? Nice. Oh, we're good. We're just taking it all in right now. You know, we haven't even really started seriously fishing. Yeah, we're just kind of enjoying the morning first. Got him. He came off. Are you fudging with me? Why? I'm, I'm throwing the hook set here. That's two that I've lost already on the blazing worm. Those are crucial mistakes right there for a tournament. Critical mistakes. Thank you, Logan. Oh. Don't you catch a fish after I lose a fish. Once again, my mental health cannot handle this. Um, why is why we were swimming into that tree? Oh no, I just pulled that. Watch it. Oh wow. Oh. Wow. Is everybody okay? Wow, that thing was wrapped around. Oh, he took my worm, yeah. So he was definitely there. Just keep stacking the misses up, baby. There we 
go. Is that a one? Yes, it is. Oh, you need more? No, I'm gonna handle him. I'm gonna handle him. Okay, oh, okay. there we go. Little three pounder on the board. Thank the Lord. Threw that spinner bait down there, let it sink. That's a three pounder right there, folks. God, that's what we needed. Wow, okay, well, it's fish number one. Let's not admire this thing too long. Thank God we got the monkey off my back. Jeez, I was really starting to uh, get a little worried there. All right, fish number one for the good guys. It's your turn, Logan. Dude, he smacked the spinnerbait. Like it was a violent, violent attack. With this water clarity, the spinnerbait should be one of the lures working, that's for sure. We would be fishing this tournament in the old green goblin, but I don't have a foot operated trolling motor. And me and Logan both agreed that we needed a foot power trolling motor. If we've got any chance against these college tournament anglers, we're gonna have to have all equipment at our disposal. Oh, they just pulled one out. Oh, oh good. <laughs> Good, good. They're already culling and we're still building. See that you're calling over there. Well, that's not really, you know, that's not important. I mean, I just want to make sure you guys are having a good day. That's all. Need to get this thing in there. There we go. Out over the grass. Got him. That was insane. On the buzz. Man, no. Dude, what a freaking bite. That was pretty crazy. Yeah, take over, Logan. Don't let us get too close. Boom, another close to three pounder right there. Very healthy fish with some shoulders on him. Wow, on the buzz bait. That was, yeah, dude. that was nuts. This joker was chasing bait around, like busting on top. Made a cast at it with the buzz bait. Guys, what else can I say about the buzz bait? I freaking love that thing. Oh, yeah. Wow. He almost got out. I better watch myself here. All right. Well, we're working on a little six pound bag at the moment. So, Logan, What's up? You, you got this, man. I believe in you. I've been using the saucy slimmer on my buzz bait for a little while now. I just like that slimmer saucy swimmer presentation it just makes the whole thing a lot thinner obviously but i find that it gets in and out of cover and grass a little bit easier with that thinner profile so throw the mag draft over there a little bit what do you think about that, Andrew? I think that's a good idea. I mean, the water's calm, the sun's up. It's a and, big fish competition, man. Right. The water's not clean, which I'd like it to be. Oh, look at that. We're on. Swim bait fish. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. You want that? Oh, boy. Yep. Yep. I sure do. Oh, man. It's a good fish. On the swim bait. Out in the middle. God, he's just slinging it everywhere. 
Oh, stay on. He's coming right to you, man. Oh, oh it's a nice one. He's digging. Get him, Logan. Let's oh, go, let's go, baby. That's a good one right Boom. there. Boom. On the swim bait. Oh, yes. Throw those hooks into my hand. Look at that, folks. That's what we're looking for right here. Nice fish right there. <gasps> Them Auburn boys ain't got nothing on us, yeah. Logan. All right. Dude, the swim bait bite, man. Heck yeah, dude. There's been something about swim baits. I've just been wanting to throw more swim baits this year, you know? And that's why people throw them right there. It's three fish. We still need two to have an official limit. We still got 30 minutes before we change zones because then we get to switch over to the good side. Dude. We're on. Oh, you're on. We're on. That's oh, a one. ooh, ooh. That's a decent one. Ooh. Oh. Oh, you want the net? Yeah, I was going to have a net. I'm trying to get one in the boat. Okay, there okay. There we go. Probably. We'll take it. We'll take it. Dude. Whew, that was the same spot. That's really? The last one. Yep. Some kind Damn. of like weird structure piece. and. It's literally just, oh. it's out in the middle. It's like eight foot of grass. It's not terrible. We'll On take him. Blazing worm. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Dragging it out there. You know, it's been slow, but we'll take him. Nice, beautiful, green little fish. And he, uh, he put up a good fight. And I just, you know, absolutely waxed him with the hook sets. You can't beat that. All right, be see you, buddy. Wow, they're fired up in there. We got a lively live well over here. And we haven't even switched. We're not even halfway through the tournament, bro. And oh, we were we, we were worrying. We were worrying about it. What were we worried about? I'll catch my, my fish. Uh, I think if we can crack like one more good fish before we swap sides. Oh, that would be fantastic. Oh. Dude, the timing of that would have been insane. Oh my god, I was running, but I never felt the pressure. No, no way! <laughs> what? That is him. Oh, dude, that is him. That is him. Dude, that is him. He bit it twice. Oh my god, the net. Oh my lord, I broke the net. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, there we go. We needed that. We needed that. Ooh. Fish number five, let's baby. Go. I don't want to be too loud because I don't want those guys to know. All right, as a team, we have five. <laughs> together, we're, we're like two and three. That's nice. not a bad fish nice. right there. That is a nice one. No, dude. Did it twice. Just started taking off with it. Another nice fish. There we go. This thing's absolutely fired up. He's ready to go in the live well and contribute to it. We got some meat in the locker over here. Oh, that one almost came <laughs> Oh, it feels good to catch fish. I was getting a little worried there. This has been an insane like last 45 minutes because the first two hours Ooh. were pretty dang slow and rough. How y'all doing? Yeah, it has kind of slowed down. Well, we have uh, achieved a limit over here on this boat. I don't even want to know what you guys have. I have a feeling you guys have a pretty decent limit. Can I at least assume that you have a pretty yeah, decent that's limit? Right. Assume it. Well, I guess let's just switch at 9:30, eh? That's like 12 more minutes. Yeah. All right. We just need to do some culling. You know what I mean? Like some just slow pick off a four, pick off a five, and just start culling these threes. And we're in this thing, boys. I mean, absolutely in it. They might have like an eight or something over there, I have a feeling, but we could get an eight too. Yeah, there's two now. All right, it's officially time, my friend, to switch from zone A to yeah. zone B. Let's go. Yeah, hip hip hooray on that one. Yep. So now we've got to kind of change strategies now because this side, zone B, is a bunch of shallow grass, bedding, fish. You know, we were working a lot of deep water over there on that side, so. Gonna make some adjustments, but I think we're in this. Oh yeah, I think we got a good bag going. I had to take off my jersey. As much as I love the jersey, it doesn't have a hood, and I am a very white man. I had to change into a little performance gear. Yeah. I like yours too. Thanks. Got it at GuggenSquad.com. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, every dollar spent at GuggenSquad.com using my code LOJO gets you one entry for a chance to win my boat, the Green Goblin. That giveaway is going all the way through August. Just a little reminder, I know you've been buying some stuff, just trying to, you're trying to win the Green Goblin for yourself, aren't you? Maybe. You sick son I of a gun. Just, I might just come to your house, hook it up, and 
take off with it. I'm going to keep working a slow moving bait. I'm either going to do the spinner bait or maybe that swim bait some more, that mag drive. I'm going to run the chatter bait. Yeah, chatter bait would be good, probably. I might throw around a little bit more. Good thing is, we've already got a solid limit. Like yeah. legit, we have a solid limit. So we can like focus on skipping those big bites. There we go, we're on. Oh, oh dude, that's that's nice. That's Holy nice. Crap. I'm just gonna let this one bait down, sit. Let me grab the old net. This is definitely a kicker. We need this. Gosh, it's got a big head. Well, I don't know. Oh, it's going to be close. I don't Dang. Know. Well, they're, they're all so healthy. They're all about the same. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if that's a cold. Beat up in there. Ah! <laughs> it's your fish. It's only customary. Dude, they're fired up. It's definitely not as big as the ones that I've been holding up. Yeah. I feel like we have a good five. This one's probably not going to help us, but hey, that's a good sign. And he crushed it, so... Creek's a little too dirty. I might have to switch it back. Yeah. Tom. There's a bass right there. Oh my gosh, he just broke off on him. That was so crazy. Such a sick eat. I'm sitting there trying to dangle the dart over his head and I brought it right behind him and just like it floated right down in front of him he was just like Hop. i snapped the freaking line off on him how do you feel back there you getting a tan i am you got your sleeves got rolled, my up. Sleeves rolled up getting a little tan on them nice. nice okay well at least somebody's having fun i'm just kidding i'm having a great time I'm on. Ooh. Oh, we're on with the glide bay. Oh, that's a nice one too. <laughs> oh, glide. Oh, he spit it. Dang it. Now he was not massive, but he was probably a four or five pounder. Still a fun fish on the glide bait though. Dude, he smacked that thing. That's the old rival right there. Like I said earlier, I've been trying to uh, commit to throwing more swim baits this year so i'm gonna do that yep he tore my bait up a little bit did i let you down right there a little bit a little bit i feel like i let everybody down right yeah, there yeah it was a little depressing i'm not gonna lie oh, you swing that. That's time anyways, I see it on my graph. So, no more fishy time. Let's head back to the little lake house right there. Both boats are gonna converge. We did great, we held our own, we both caught fish. Look at these guys, look, they're, look, they're fishing past time. That's a disqualifying offense right there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They actually at least take a pound off per minute that they continue to fish. You're witnessing this. Oh, uh, she got it on camera. Wow. Man, lively, they're feisty. All right, 326. Yep. Wow, he tried to jump back in the boat. I don't trust those guys over there. They said they didn't really catch them that good. 2.66. Wow, I thought that was bigger than that. I don't know. Healthy fish. Yep, they were ready. Probably another ex exactly like the last one. 2.55. Okay, I guess that's the smallest one right there, for sure. Logan, you caught this one. Oh no, no, I caught it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I caught all the small ones. <laughs> 3.13. Okay, 3.13. Man, he is so feisty. Oh my 
these fish are like instantly ready to go too. All right, big in. Oh, wow. Uh, 4.80. Ah, oh, that's close. <laughs> Thought it was a five. It looks big though. Nice fish though. Yep, swim bait fish. Biggest one of the day for me. Big in. How you doing, girl? Hold on. How you doing? You okay? Wow. The force. Okay. Um, I did not go to a prestigious university like Auburn, so I don't know what our total weight is at all. I'm eager to see, gentlemen. I really am. Four zero five. They matched our four right out of the gate. There you go. That doesn't make you feel too good. Thick boy. There were some fat ones out there today. Mm -hmm. Three nine nine. Two fours. Two fours. Dang it, Logan. Wow, it's actually kind of close right now. Trying to get three eight eight three eight three. Three eight three? No way. That's a four pounder? It's pretty thick. Wow. I don't think we saved the best smallest. I don't think we saved the best for last. Is that hagfish bigger than that one? I think so. Three two eight. Yeah, that pack is definitely bigger than that. Three two eight. Dang. Yeah. I think they, they edged us out, I think. We needed one, like, one good one. Yeah. I think they edged Joe out just a little. 16.4. We had 16, they had 18. Man, that was close. Mm. We were one fish away, literally one fish no, away. Really? The way it started, too, was rough. I mean, we're looking over our shoulder every five minutes. These guys are putting them in the boat. Dude, I, I screwed up so bad by choosing that side. I mean, that was the most idiotic thing ever, but we had a rally right before we switched sides, caught a bunch of fish, and made it respectable. Two pounds, that's respectable. Can't complain. I think. You seem like you're disappointed. I'm just, it's hot. <laughs> Already <laughs> it's in springtime. Hey, well, shout out to these two gentlemen from the University of Auburn bass fishing team yes, showing sir. us that uh, they know how to fish in the old SEC. Hey, man, second place. We'll take you. Not bad. Another top three finish for our Let's team. Go. We are on a roll. Yep. Killing the game. That was fun competing like against some actual like dudes who do this. I'm happy with it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Big shout out to everybody involved in this. We will see you guys again. Make sure you subscribe to this man right here, Logan Anderson Fishing. He'll be linked below. I love you folks. I'll see you in the next one.